In this lesson, I'll show you several examples on how to work with zero and negative exponents. The negative exponent rule states that if we have, let's say, x to the power of negative a, we reciprocate the base, where it's 1 over x, and we switch the symbol of the exponent. In this case, it was negative, and it becomes positive. The zero exponent rule is even easier. If you have a base raised to the power of zero, the answer is automatically 1. That being said, let's start with question 1. Write each expression below without negative exponents. In question A, we have 7 to the power of negative 1. Here we would flip 7, where it becomes 1 over 7, and instead of this negative 1 power, it becomes 1. So your final answer is 1 over 7. In question B, we have x to the power of negative 1. Once again, we'll reciprocate the base, where we have 1 over x, and instead of negative 1, it becomes positive 1. In question C, we have z to the power of negative 3. This becomes 1 over z, and instead of negative 3, it's the power of positive 3. In question D, the negative power is only associated with this y. So this factor x is left alone, and y becomes 1 over y to the power of 1. And together, when you multiply these, you end up with x over y. Question E is more of the same. We have a times b to the power of negative 2. This b to the power of negative 2 becomes b to the power of 2 at the bottom. And c to the power of negative 3, which was at the bottom originally, goes to the top, where we have a times c to the power of 3 over d times b to the power of 2. The a and the d were left untouched. In question f, we have this whole expression being raised to the power of negative 1. This means all of these factors will become the denominator, where we have 1 over 4, a to the power of 3, b to the power of 2, c to the power of 6, and all of this now is being raised to the power of positive 1, or we can just write it out the way it is. In question g, arguably this is the hardest question, this expression is a binomial, and it's being raised to the power of negative 1. So the first step is to write it as 1 over x to the power of negative 2 plus 6y. Still, we have x to the power of negative 2. So this part will be written as 1 over, this becomes 1 over x to the power of 2 plus 6y. Of course, you can take this a step further by combining these two terms, but this is good enough for this question. Let's move on to question 2. In question 2, we work with zero exponents. The first one is 367 to the power of 0. And as mentioned above, anything to the power of 0 is 1. Over here we have x to the power of 2, y to the power of 0, and z. This becomes x to the power of 2 times 1 times z. We don't need to write down times 1. And lastly, these three factors are being raised to the power of 0, so all of this reduces to 1. And there you have it. That is how to work with 0 and negative exponents.